this lesson, we're going to talk about sharps, flats, and naturals. Sometimes they're worked into the beginning of the song in what's called a key signature, but we're not doing key signatures yet. So we're going to look at what's called accidentals. And an accidental is when one of these three symbols is written into the music itself. So you would actually see one of these symbols next to a note. First up is the sharp sign. With the sharp sign, you're going to play the note a half a step up. I was going to say to the right. It is to the right. It's a half step up or to the right. The flat symbol indicates that you should play that note a half step to the left. And the natural symbol cancels out a previous uh, sharp or flat and tells you to just play that white key. Let's go further. I'll explain this in more detail. Before you can really understand sharps, flats, and naturals, the first thing you want to know is that the piano itself is made up of half steps. These are all half steps. So from here to here is a half step, from here to here is a half, from here to here is a half step. So if I'm going to play a G, let's say a G sharp, here's a G note, a G sharp is a half step to the right, the very next key. But what if you have to play an E sharp? Which, okay, that'll almost never happen, but just to make sure we understand, an E sharp is not the next black key. It's not a black key. Because it's a half step up, that's actually the E sharp. And yeah, we know that as an F, but it's also an E sharp. If I needed to play a D sharp, there's my D sharp. So let's talk about flats. So if I were to play a B flat, here's a B note, there's a B flat note. That's the most common that you'll play. If I were to play a D flat, there's my D, there's my D flat. But what if someone asked me to play a C flat note? Do you know which one it would be? It's the one right next to it. Remember, you're always moving in half steps. And once again, the natural just cancels things out. 